Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. Candles have been used as a lighting source dating back to ancient civilizations, thousands of years ago. Nowadays, the purpose of candles is focused more on decoration, or a source of fragrance, which has boosted the carved candle industry and the handicraft behind it. These candles serve a market of people who appreciate craftsmanship and aesthetics. This is why big and small businesses have appeared around the globe to supply this niche market. Artisans like Violetta have created their boutiques to show their skills and creativity, focused on the candle's beauty and intricate designs. In the workshop, the artist prepares the colored wax, which is kept melted at a temperature between 150 and 160 degrees Fahrenheit. Blocks of paraffin wax are used to create the candle core or pillar candle. In most cases, stearic acid, also known as stearin, is mixed with pure paraffin to improve burn quality. This paraffin wax, which comes from petroleum, replaced the use of animal fats to create candles, helping the industry expand. Being a cheap resource allows small businesses to create these works of art without weighing them down so much financially. Those blocks are processed and cut into smaller pieces, which are carefully weighted. While pure paraffin creates the pillar, some wax is mixed with dyes and poured into the already melted colored wax. The electric heater allows the artisan to maintain the wax at the proper temperature above its melting point. Once the wax and colorant have been poured, it must be stirred from time to time to achieve a uniform mixture. Silicone or plastic is used for the pillar candle mold, as it can be shaped easily and the candle is released with no effort. When preparing the mold, the artisan selects the proper wick for the candle. Usually, the size depends on the diameter of the candle. Most wicks have threads that are woven in a specific pattern that affects the burn behavior. As the melted paraffin is poured, the rubbers keep the mold together, maintaining its shape while it cools. Технология производства резных свечей довольно интересная. Она занимает несколько этапов. Это производство заготовки непосредственно. Заливается в специальную форму парафин со стеарином. 
формируется так называемая болванка-заготовка. И уже на нее в последующем в воскоплаве окунаются несколько а, цветных слоев. А, мы ее разогреваем, эту свечу, она становится цветная и теплая. В то время, пока она еще тепленькая, наша задача нарезать эту свечу на лепестки красивые. Each dip of the core adds a layer and thickens the candle, building up its size and shape. The artisan hardens the layers in cool water, but only briefly, as the wax should remain malleable. While the wax is still warm, the artisan starts carving the candle. That process must be done with precision and swiftness, as the paraffin wax takes about 20 minutes to harden, which would only damage the candle at that point. When carving, the colors of the layers are exposed, and the cut sections can be shaped into different motifs. Downward pearls are formed by cutting small strips and bending them downwards. They are one of the most popular shapes. Several tools can be used to create such forms including blunt tip carving knives or strip carving tools. At this point, it is up to the creativity and skills of the artisan to create various shapes without damaging the candle. Decorative elements, like metal beads or wire, are added for a more intricate and ornate look. Any imperfections or rough edges may be smoothed out using additional tools. After the design is finished, the artisan covers the candle with varnish to protect it and give it a glossy look. Finishing touches include cutting the wick and cleaning the excess varnish. This showcases the creativity and uniqueness each artisan puts into those pieces. Thanks to social media, these businesses can share their work, better engage with clients, and expand their sales. With such technology, customers can order quickly, making the delivery process more efficient. As the interaction with the people is more personal, the clients can seek custom products from the artists. This artistic business has greatly increased thanks to the artists' passion and engagement with their clients.
that's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.